Hi, I'm Peter Nelson with uh, Hobie Fleet 95 and Hobie Division 4 up in Seattle. I want to share with you some of the things uh, to look for when buying a Hobie cat. There's a lot of people out there buying used Hobies, and some of them, quite frankly, are real junkers and aren't worth the money that people are paying for them. I'm talking specifically a lot of the 70s vintage uh, Hobie 16s. So we're going to go through uh, some items on the boat. I've got a brand new boat here. Sorry, I don't sail a, a 70s vintage or an 80s or a 90s vintage. Uh, but you can, I'll, I'm going to show you what to look for when uh, you show up to a guy's house that you've found on Craigslist and want to buy a, his Hobie 16. The biggest item is right here on the decks. You want to press down on them. And, and if they're oil canning, if they're just like soft, um, my recommendation is don't walk away, run. And it probably ain't worth it. There is a way to fix those, and if everything else is right, I guess you can go for it. Um, you want to make sure that the the tang is all good, not a lot of rust or whatever. Uh, but you can see the bridle, how these two uh, come into a bridle with a um, uh, a shackle, and then there's a ten hole adjuster. You want to make sure that ten hole adjuster is there. Uh, working our way back. The carpet kit's important. You can add it after the fact. Just factor that into your cost. Um, you definitely want to have double trapezes. All right? If you're not going to trapeze on a Hobie 16, my advice is sell the dang thing and buy yourself a laser or a sunfish or something. The whole point and the whole fun of these things is, is the trapezes. So see if there's double trapezes. If there's, if there's only one or none, you can add them. Just have to add more to it. So, the older boats had kind of a mechanical traveler return system where you have to pop a button up the crew would to, to run these out. Back in, the, I don't know when it was, the 80s or, I don't know, Trend Tech, anyhow, came out with an aftermarket. Now it's standard uh, to have a, 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 a remote system. So really, from here, we run this over to the other side, and now the crew can uh, adjust these uh, from either side of the boat. And that's pretty important, actually. Again, you can retrofit it, and again, it costs money to do so. Uh, mesh tramps are real nice, kind of a, a new, uh, new adaptation. The old vinyl tramps. You want to make sure that uh, the tramps, uh, the trampoline is in good condition. If it's not in good condition, you're going to want to replace it with vinyl, uh, excuse me, with a, a mesh tramp. Uh, th these allow the wind to go through it when you're tacking. You don't get blown over. They're lighter stretch here. Uh, you want to make sure you got a twist toggle. This thing right here is a twist toggle. It's dangerous to sail a Hobie 16 without a twist toggle. Then make sure, of course, you have a seven hole adjuster up there. And make sure people haven't jury rig stuff i've seen all kinds of stuff happen here and it really should look just like a swedge right in there all right and you know if you've got something else going on i would seriously question it we already talked about uh the, the kit uh the rail kit that's real nice for keeping a grip on your with your feet when you're trapped out uh coming back here uh you want to make sure there's uh um double grommet all right this is a real easy and cheap uh, performance enhancer. It just makes the trampoline a lot more comfortable, too. You can buy a double grommet kit. So if, uh, uh, if the boat only, is only single grommeted, meaning the, the, the grommets are about that far apart, then, yeah, it's a, no big deal. Because you can buy the other grommets and uh, change it out. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and it works fantastic. Uh, the other thing you can look for is just if there's any uh, uh, wiggle. If you hear any creaking or groaning just on the trailer. I also want to show you the gudgeons back here. The rudder system is really important on a Hobie 16. And if you want to have fun on one, the old systems had a two-piece rudder system. They're okay, but if the pin, if the pin wiggles, you see how much wiggle I got? Hardly any. If, if you got this thing and it's wiggling around like that, you're gonna have to replace the gudgeons, probably the pin too. Not a big deal, you just gotta add it to the thing. And so 
what happens is, um, let's go forward here. I want to show you this. What happens is, you go, well, there's just that and there's just that. And pretty soon, you're upgrading this beater boat and you've got two or three grand or four grand into a beater boat. You might as well just go out and find yourself a newer boat that's already got this stuff. Um, years ago, we went with a, I can't show you with the mask down, but it's basically a three to one jib halyard. So this shackle hooks into my jib and, this is, and it's a great system. Again, if yours doesn't have it, yeah, you'll want to change it out, but it's going to cost you money. There's about 70 feet of spectra there, so that's not cheap. Uh, and then the other thing is they recently added, you can't see it here, is this is the, where the boom comes down if the mass was standing up, and there's a five to one downhaul. You don't really need that for just cruising around. If you're going to get into racing, it's definitely a must have. Uh, and really, that's about the most of what I've got. My biggest uh, advice, though, is if there's an if it's a identify a piece of crap when it's a piece of crap. Don't try to force uh, a situation, and just be patient and wait for a better boat. Uh, and hopefully, you'll find a good one. Thanks for watching. There's a bunch of other videos on this channel. Hope you enjoy them. Take care.